In today's tech video, we are going to unbox, review, and dive into the Logitech Crayon. Before we begin, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you can get notified for future videos. I'd love to have you back in the next one. Hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So today we're going to be unboxing and opening the Logitech crayons right here in this Amazon box. Um, if you're anything like me, you have Amazon who's coming to your door uh, just about every week, uh, sometimes more than once a week. But um, this is what's in this box right here. So we're gonna unbox it, dive into the Logitech crayon take an in-depth look at it and see how well it works because it's one of those uh, alternatives to the Apple Pencil. Well, let's go ahead and just cut this thing open, get it open and uh, see what the Logitech Crayon and let's see what it looks like and see what it can do. Okay, so this is the crayon right here, made by Logitech. Uh, this is fits the Apple iPads that are the sixth generation, so you have to make sure that you look to see what generation iPad that you have. Make sure that this is compatible with it. This is what it looks like here. It does have the, uh, it uses like the Apple Pencil technology. It, it will work on your iPad, even though it's not Apple and it's Logitech. It supports a tilt, no pairing needed. So go ahead and open this up and See what it looks like now. But this is what it looks like. Now the thing I like about this is, if you're, any of you guys are ever in any kind of carpentry, those carpentry pencils that they have, uh, they are flat like this. So flat like that. I think it makes it nice to hold like that whenever you are holding and drawing. It just feels good in your hand. But this is what the pencil looks like up close. Oh, let me see. Okay, so as you can see, there's a power button right there that you turn it on with, and then there's a hole right there that lights up whenever you do turn it on. And then to charge it, you flip this thing up here, and there is the charging port. Okay, so now I did buy this Logitech crayon for my daughter. I wanted to uh, have her exercise her creative skills and use it on her iPad, maybe to draw with. So I'm going to turn her loose on using this thing for the first time. And that way it'll show you guys that uh, even a kid could use this thing. Although kids are usually better at these kind of things than what we adults are. So let's go ahead and turn my daughter loose on it. Okay, so as far as charging goes, we'll go ahead and flip this slip up here. This is just a regular Amazon Basics lightning cable. And then we'll put it right in there and just like that. And as you can see, it charges up and that light starts glowing on and off to let you know that it is charging. So it takes any kind of lightning cable that, that'll fit in there, whether it be your genuine OEM cable or if you use a knockoff like I'm using here with this Amazon Basics. But we're gonna let this thing charge up for a little bit and then we'll take it over to the iPad. Okay, so something that you should know about this Logitech Crayon is that it only works with the sixth generation iPad and not the new iPad Pro. So fortunately, the iPad that I have here that my daughter has is um, the 2019, I believe, uh, sixth generation iPad. So that's what this thing works. So if you do have the more expensive iPad, well, you're out of luck. So make sure you keep that in mind because that could be uh, somewhat of a disadvantage. But this is the more cheaper iPad. I mean, if you have the iPad Pro, you're probably a designer or you're, you know, it's just a more high-end iPad. But that's what this device here fits. Uh, and also something else to keep in mind, that light that we charge it all the way now, but when you hold down on it. You got to hold down for like three seconds and then it turns on. But if it's green, then that means you have over 10%. If that light is red, then that means you have less than 10% life on the battery of this thing. And it's flashing red, then you have less than 5%. So that means you need to get it over to a charger. The cool thing about this, since it does flip up like this and charge, that's what you call a uh, female port on the edge of that. And so you can use any kind of charger to plug in there. The Apple Pencils, the original OEM Apple Pencils, 
have a male port, so you have to like plug the crayon in into the iPad, which I like this version better than that. It makes it more flexible as far as being able to charge this device, you know, in your car or, you know, one of your chargers that you have in your wall or something like that. So, yeah, that's what this looks like and what it does. Um, now on the iPad here, we did download a app on there, just some type of drawing app. We typed in the iPad, Apple Pencil apps, I don't know. Just search your app store, you'll be able to find a bunch of free ones. We went to one that was free. Okay, so I did download an app here, it's called Drawing App. Went to the app store and just downloaded any free uh, Apple Pencil app that you could find. This one had a lot of good reviews on it and a lot of downloads. Um, I kind of look for that whenever I'm downloading an app. I don't want to get one that's new or I want one that's been out for a while and just been tested. So we're going to go ahead and open up this app, use this pencil. Okay, so this is my daughter. We're going to film her using it a little bit. You can change the brush size on these things, but um, as you can see, it looks like it takes yeah. pretty well as far as the touch goes. And this particular app, you can change the colors on it, but I think she'll be able to use this pencil to work on her drawing skills a little bit in a digital format. Another little feature that I like about this crayon that I had mentioned earlier about it with it being flat is that if you do put it on a table or something, it's not going to roll away versus like if you have a pencil how it rolls away just like that. So that's kind of nice that it does have that feature of being flat. I know the original Apple Pencil is round also, uh, so it has the ability to roll away. I think the Apple Pencil is supposed to be weighted to prevent some of that, but still, if it's round, it's gonna roll. I like that this is flat. Another really cool thing with this crayon is that the pairing process was easy peasy. It instantly recognized it versus the Apple Pencil. It can be a bit fidgety whenever it, you try to pair it with your device. This required no pairing. It just automatically recognized it. So that was a really cool feature. Okay, so that gives you a good look at this crayon. So comment down below if you're going to buy one of these things or if you have any questions with it. I'd like to communicate with you and answer any kind of questions that you have. But um, I'll have a link in the description down below of where you can buy this in case you're looking for one. I'll even throw in a link down there for the iPad that we have. Uh, in case you're looking to get an iPad to go along with this as well. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hopefully it was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and throw a thumbs up on this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time, and I'd love to have you back on the next one. So until then, be creative.